dialogues and Manchu Mishra today will talk about. Sex hormones enhance Kenoria's defense against antibiotics. The standard warning on oral contraceptives about not protecting against STIs take on new significance with Kenoria. The bacterium causing this disease can utilize the hormones from birth control to boost its antibiotic resistance. Like many bacteria, Nisera gonorrhea is equipped with pumps to push the killing chemicals out of its cell. But with what's unique, according to Duke and Emery's study online this week in Nature's Communication, is that the hormones of the human urogenital tract actually allow gonorrhea to make and use more of these pumps to fight intrinsic antimicrobials and prescribe antibiotics. The researchers uncover the information while examining a transcription factor, a protein that binds to specific sites on the bacterium's DNA and slows production of the efflux pumps that protect it. Led by Duke graduate student Grace Hooks and her mentor, biochemistry chair Richard Brennan, PhD, the study used a variety of approaches to characterize the shape and function of transcription factor. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. The researchers discovered that a transcription factor, known as the MTRR, exhibits a strong binding affinity for hormonal steroids such as progesterone, estrogen, testosterone, and the synthetic hormone ethyl estradiol. Upon binding with a hormone, this transcription factor's ability to suppress the bacterial pump's production diminishes, making it less effective. It's kind of utilizing the sensory system to gauge where it is in the cycle and when it can best colonize hook cell. It can only survive in the human host, it can't survive outside. So it has to be really good at sensing where it is and when's the best time for colonizing. The transcription factor MTRR also helps signal the bacterium to protect itself against reactive oxygen species. What this one protein does is a dual system to protect Neisseria gonorrhea, Brennan said. For the bacterium to be successfully sexually transmitted infection, it must effectively thrive in both men and women. Neisseria gonorrhea is an obligate human pathogen. We don't know where it is the rest of the time, concluded Brennan. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.